Germany is among the most attractive countries for international tourists, and there are many reasons why. It offers its visitors not only rich history, medieval villages, and fairy tale castles, but also exquisite gastronomy and vibrant cities full of art museums, churches, and picturesque squares. Its cosmopolitan cities will captivate you with their architecture and world-known tourist attractions. Germany will take your breath away and offer you unforgettable experiences, which will remain in your heart forever. Haven't you already decided where to go on your visit to Germany? Discover with us the best places to see in this beautiful country, which offers endless tourist attractions. Number 1. Castle Neuschwanstein. The fairy tale like castle of Neuschwanstein was built by the introverted King Ludwig II of Bavaria, who ordered its construction in 1869. Originally built as his private retreat and financed out of his personal fortune, it was open to the public just a few weeks after his death in 1886. Today, the castle welcomes more than 1.4 million tourists every year. The best view of the castle that you can get is from Marienbroke, or Queen Mary's Bridge. Here you can take as many pictures as you desire. However, inside the castle, no photos are allowed. By joining a guided tour of the interior, you can admire its richly decorated throne hall, bedroom, study room, salon, and kitchen, equipped with the most modern technology. This castle is surprisingly quite modern. It has a central heating system, flush toilets, and even a telephone. Although the construction of the castle started in 1869, it has never been completed. Only 12 rooms out of 200 are complete. Number 2. Regensburg Regensburg is one of the most charming cities in Germany and is full of fascinating medieval structures. It has many squares where you can enjoy a coffee, eat delicious food, or just enjoy people watching and the medieval architectures. Start exploring the city by visiting St. Peter's Cathedral, which is the only Gothic cathedral in Bavaria. Completed in 1520, it has become the city's most famous landmark. Take a guided tour and visit the Imperial Assembly Hall and the torture chamber in the cellar of the 13th century town hall where persons charged with an offense were questioned. Another worthwhile attraction would be the 12th century stone bridge, a masterpiece of medieval construction. At 310 meters in length, it was the only bridge across the river for more than 800 years until the 1930s. See also Porta Praetoria, a Roman gate constructed in 179 AD, which is the most ancient stone building in Germany. The Goliath House, dating back to 1260, is another fascinating medieval landmark of Regensburg. Its 1573 painting of the fight between David and Goliath is one of the most sought tourist attractions in the city. There is also a restaurant inside. Just a few kilometers away from Regensburg stands the impressive Snow White structure Valhalla, a hall of fame and glory. Built by King Ludwig I of Bavaria between 1830 and 1842, this neoclassical building is a home to the plaques and busts of the great men and women who have written German history. Number 3. Munich There is something for everyone to visit in the Bavarian capital Munich. A top starting point for travelers is Marienplatz Square where you can find the new city hall built in neo-Gothic architectural style in 1905. On its tower, you can admire the Glockenspiel, which portrays important scenes from Munich's history. Additionally, from this tower, you can watch the famous Cooper's Dance. It is a popular tourist attraction every day at 11 a.m., 12 p.m., and 5 p.m., from March to October. Have you ever wondered how Bavarian royals used to live? Then travel back in time and visit Munich Residence. Walk across the palace and admire its lavishly decorated halls. See also Rococo Kuvale Theater, decorated in red and gold. If you want to relax outside, visit the English Garden, which is one of the largest inner city parks in the world. It's even larger than the New York Central Park. Are you a car fan? 
Then enjoy the BMW Museum of this German car manufacturer. You can admire not only the latest models, but also vintage cars. If you come to Munich in September or October, enjoy Oktoberfest, the largest beer festival in the world. Traditionally, the beer served at Oktoberfest is brewed to a higher gravity, therefore containing more alcohol. Take care, as this means you will get drunk more easily. Number 4. Hamburg. The city of Hamburg is best known for its seaport, named the Port of Hamburg. Operating from the end of the 12th century, it is one of the largest seaports in Europe. In its warehouse district, which is the largest in the world, you can also find the Water Castle, one of the city's best landmarks. It is impossible to overlook the Elbville Harmony, nicknamed Elfie. This impressive concert hall is known for its complex curved glass facade and was opened only in 2017. Its vineyard-style grand hall seats 2,100 guests, making it one of the largest in the world. In Hamburg, you can also find two museum ships, Cap San Diego, the 159-meter-long vessel, which is said to be the largest seaworthy museum ship in the world, and Rickmer Rickmers, the most beautiful ship in the harbor. It used to sail the seven seas for almost 90 years. Another must-see tourist attraction is the 426-meter-long Old Elbe Tunnel, connecting central Hamburg with different docks. Constructed 24 meters below the river in 1911, it was a technical sensation, and today pedestrians and cyclists use it when crossing the river. Are you a railway enthusiast? Then visit the Miniature Wonderland, the world's largest model railway, containing more than 1,100 trains with over 10,000 wagons. Number 5. Rothenburg. Rothenburg, located in Bavaria, Germany, is a beautiful medieval town and an important part of the German Romantic Road. If you like taking pictures, this city is like a heaven for you. Every corner is beautiful. The must-see place to visit is the Town Hall, which combines both Gothic and Renaissance styles. From its tower, you will find amazing views over the old town. Its walls, built in 13th century, are one of the main tourist spots, as well as its old town full of picturesque houses. If you can't get enough of German history, visit the fascinating medieval crime museum, where you can learn how people were tortured in medieval times. You may have heard of the marvelous Christmas markets in Germany. Rothenburg has one of the best to enjoy throughout December. Number 6. Dresden. Dresden, often called Florence on the Elbe, is a city of magnificent Baroque architecture and art. The unmissable icon of the city is Frauenkirche Church, which is a symbol of international reconciliation after World War II. Completed in 1743, it was completely destroyed during World War II. After 50 years, it was reconstructed and reconsecrated in 2005. Zwinger Palace is one of the finest examples of Baroque architecture in Germany. It is a home to the Dresden Porcelain Collection and Old Masters Gallery, containing paintings of such artists as Rembrandt or Raphael. This is Semper Opera House, the most famous opera house in Germany. It was largely destroyed during World War II, and its reconstruction was completed 40 years later in 1985. Another iconic landmark is the 101-meter-long Procession of Kings, representing history of Saxony's ruling family. Because the work began to fade, more than 24,000 porcelain tiles were used to protect it from weather conditions. Did you know that Dresden is considered one of the greenest cities in Europe? 62% of its area is covered by woods and green spaces. Number 7. Cologne. Welcome to Cologne, one of the oldest and largest cities in Germany. The most recognized landmark of Cologne is its Gothic Cathedral, with 157 meter high towers and a capacity of over 20,000 people. Inside this tallest cathedral in the world, you can admire outstanding stained glass windows. Cologne will captivate you with its charming old town full of restaurants and cafes and colorful old houses. Don't forget to take a boat trip on the Rhine River, 
one of the most traveled waterways in the world, and enjoy its impressive panorama. If you want to know more about Cologne history, visit the Roman Germanic Archaeological Museum. Here you can admire many artifacts of everyday life in Roman Cologne, including a large Dionysus mosaic, which remains from a Roman town villa. The Mussi Gallery is the Ludwig Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art. It contains the world's third largest Picasso collection, as well as works of pop artists such as Andy Warhol. Do you want to immortalize your relationship? Attach your lock to the Hohenzollern Bridge, pilgrimage place of all romantics and love, and throw the key into the Rhine River. Number 8. Bamberg Thanks to its medieval layout and well-preserved historic buildings, Bamberg is one of the most beautiful towns in Germany. Bamberg is home to the 13th century Cathedral Church of St. Peter and St. George. Inside, you can find the remains of its founder, Emperor Henry II. Also inside is the 13th century medieval sculpture of the Bamberg Horseman, which is the most famous city landmark. The identities of the horseman and the sculptor remain a mystery. You cannot miss Bamberg's old town, and as you are walking through its historic streets, admire its old town hall with frescoes that adorn the facade. According to the legend, the citizens of Bamberg were not granted any land to build their town hall, so they decided to build it on an artificial island. Another tourist attraction is Little Venice, former fisherman's district with half-timbered buildings along the riverbank, built during the Middle Ages. Take a river cruise and enjoy its pretty scenery. Another major landmark is 12th century Altenburg Castle, located on the highest of Bamberg's seven hills. Its keep is 33 meters high and was completed in 13th century. You can visit the castle every day from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. Number 9. Frankfurt. Frankfurt is Germany's business and finance hub, but there is so much worth seeing for the tourists. Let's start with Frankfurt's old town, which was almost completely destroyed during the Second World War. Its reconstruction was completed only in 2017. Today, you can again admire well-restored timber-framed houses while enjoying a coffee and people watching. Frankfurt is Germany's and Europe's leading museum location, thanks to its magnificent museum embankment, consisting of 15 museums. One of them is dedicated to Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, Germany's most famous author and poet. He grew up in this house together with his parents and his sister, and you could admire many of the house's rooms. In stunning contrast to the modern buildings, there is the 47-meter-high Eschenheim Tower, completed in 1428. It used to serve as the city gate of Frankfurt's late medieval fortifications. Today, it is home to a cafe. Another one of the city's landmarks is the 240-meter-high main tower. If you are not scared of heights, enjoy incredible views from its observation deck. Be sure to taste Frankfurt's traditional green sauce, served cold over hard-boiled eggs and boiled potatoes. And enjoy the Christmas markets. They belong to the largest and oldest in Germany. Its origins date back to 1393. Number 10. Berlin. Berlin, the capital of Germany, is also the largest German city and has an unbelievable amount of tourist attractions. The must-visit place is the city symbol, the Brandenburg Gate, built in 1791. On top, you can see a statue of a quadriga depicting Victoria, the Roman goddess of victory, driving a chariot drawn by four horses. Another important structure is the Reichstag Parliament Building, completed in 1894, which is a silent witness to the turbulent history of Berlin. Climb up to the dome and enjoy stunning views from the roof. It is impossible to overlook the Berlin Museum Island, where you can get to six museums buying one ticket. It is a home to impressive art collections, including the world-famous bust of Nefertiti, which is over 3,000 years old. You cannot miss the Berlin Wall, or what is left of it, and Checkpoint Charlie, the former border crossing dividing Berlin into East and West during the Cold War. Today, it is a favorite sought-after tourist site. Visit 17th-century Charlottenburg Palace, surrounded by a unique Baroque garden. 
It was heavily damaged during the Second World War, but has since been reconstructed. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more in the future, leave a comment, give a like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.